Today we are going to have an outlook regarding the unit 3 what is cost of capital. Cost of capital of an investor in financial management is equal to return an investor can fetch from the next best alternative investment. That means the minimum rate of return that can be uh, taken from the investment made in a project to keep the market value per share unchanged. Next let us see what is the definition of a cost of capital. It has been given by Milton H. Spencer. He says that the cost of capital is the minimum rate of return which a firm requires as a condition for undertaking an investment. Likewise, uh, M.J. Gordon also given a uh, definition regarding cost of capital. He says that cost of capital is the rate of return a company must earn on an investment to maintain the value of the company. We have specific source of cost of capital. Let us see what is that. To determine the cost of capital, business leaders, accounting departments and investment must con consider three factors that is cost of debt, cost of equity and weighted average cost of capital that we call it in the short form WACC. Cost of debt. Cost of debt helps to identify the overall rate being paid to use funds acquired from financial state strategies such as debt financing while which is selling a company debt to individuals or institutions who in turn become creditor of that debt. There are many ways to calculate cost of debt. One common method is adding a company total interest expense for each debt for the year then dividing it by the total amount of debt. See the formula is given here you can see it in the uh, table cost of debt equal to risk minus free rate of return plus credit spread into 1 minus tax rate. This is another form where the formula has been bra uh, break down into risk that means free return determined from the return on US government security credit spread difference in yield between US treasury bonds and other debt securities tax rate percentage at which a corporation is taxed. Next cost of equity. Equity is the amount of cash available to shareholders as a result of asset. Liquidation and paying off outstanding debt and it's crucial to a company's long term success. So equity plays a important role in a company. Equity amount of cash available to shareholder is an uh, asset of liquidation and it helps to paying off outstanding de uh, debt at the crucial stage of the company in a long term success. Cost of equity. Let us see what is cost of equity. It is nothing but rate of return on com uh, return a company must pay out to equity investor. The compensation that the market demands in exchange for owning an asset and bearing the risk associated with owning it. It can be calculated by a capital asset pricing model which considers on investments riskiness relative to the current market. To calculate CAPM investor use the following formula. Let us see what is that cost of equity equal to risk minus free rate of return plus beta into market rate of return minus risk minus free rate of return. We are coming to the final stage of cost of capital that is weighted average cost of capital. The weighted average cost of copy, uh, capital is a common method for calculating cost of capital. It is equally oh, uh, average a uh, company's debt and equity from all sources. The company used this method to determine rate of return that indicates the return that shareholders demand to provide capital. It also helps investors gauge the risk of cash flows and desirability 
for company shares, projects and potential acquisition. It established the discount rate for future cash flows to obtain value for a business. This is calculated by weighted average is calculated by multiplying the cost of each capital source that is both equity as well as debt by its relevant weight by market value and then adding the product together to determine the total. The formula, let us see the formula. You can see it on the uh, slide. Weighted average method equal to E divided by V into RE plus open bracket D divided by V into RD close the bracket into 1 minus T. So this has been break down into E denotes market value of the firm's equity, D denotes market value of firm's debt, V denotes total value of capital that is equity plus debt, E divided by V percentage of capital that is equity, D divided by V percentage of capital that is debt, RE required rate of return, RD cost of debt, T tax rate. A high weighted average calculation, cost of capital calculation indicates that a company stock is volatile or its debt is too risky, meaning investor will demand greater returns. Thank you for watching this video.